Lunatics. Bienvenidos a Sol en Luna TV. Yo soy Sol. Y yo soy Luna. Y, y hoy, hoy es miércoles. Miércoles ni cultura. Yes, today we are here to react to Jose Rizal, the movie 1998. You guys requested this and we are, we took our time. <laughs> Yeah, to we need to have free time for this guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but yeah, it's because it's, it's almost two hour movie, so yeah, it was hard for us to clear Just our schedule. Our so. very tight <laughs> agenda. But we are here, we are here to do so. Thank you so much to everybody who requested this. Thank you so much to our patrons and supporters. Who are always supporting this channel. Thank yes. you. And now let's watch the movie. Oh, but before we watch it, I just wanted to say like, uh, I guess that you wanted us to watch this movie because you said, well, I'm not guessing, you said that the movie had a lot of Spanish for us to review how Filipinos speak Spanish. Review. <laughs> Okay. As if we are some sort of authority. No, well, we, we are native Spanish speakers, so people want us to review how good Filipino Spanish is. And yeah, and also because we were reacting to the Maria Clara Ibarra series that are based in the books of Jose Rizal, so you guys wanted us to react to the movie of Jose Rizal as well. So. Let's do this. TV. In the Philippines, Spain faced the threat of yet another revolution due to mounting social unrest among the natives. Jose Rizal, at age 35, was the greatest political enemy of Spain in the Philippines with his exceptional linguistic abilities and interest in the sciences and the arts. Rizal was most effective in his campaign for freedom as a writer. I wonder why he decided to like explain all this instead of like showing us in the movie. His novels, Noli Metangere and El Filibusterismo, were seizing indictments of Spanish tyranny and of the church, which came to acquire immense political power. So maybe we're gonna see like what happened to Jose Rizal after he wrote the two novels. Jose Rizal <laughs> Protagonistas <laughs> No? There's that Cesar Montano Como Jose Rizal <laughs> Producido por... <laughs> ok, ya eso no lo metí <laughs> ¿Por qué no ponen otros protas? They don't put other It's cast... not worth it, like there's nobody worth it They don't mention <laughs> other cast, only crew and Jose Rizal. So Jose Rizal is the only person in this movie. In this movie. Words mentioned. I wonder where Filipinos get like all these uh, historical houses for their movies. Adio Bea in, in Entramuros. <laughs> no, bitch. They have. They have Las Casas Filipinas de Acusar. Ah, it's Pero no las de aquí. I know, no, no, no. There's a lot there. And also in vegan. Eh? Right? Vegan, there's a lot of. In vegan, we, lo que hay en muchos um, historical buildings. Mm. Not necessarily houses. Bélgica. 1891. Ang bayan ay may kanser na panlipunan na kailangang ibilad sa templo ng sambayan ng Pilipino. At sa hanggahang ito, sisikapin kong maikintal ang iyong kalagayan ng buong katapatan. Nang walang itinatanggi, itataas ko ang lambong na nagtatago sa kalinisan. Na He said lambong. <laughs> Maging ang pag-ibig sa sarili. Sapagkat bilang anak, halos kong ako man ay may sarili ring pagkukulang at katuwaan. Ang aklat ay nagkakaroon ng mga bagay na ngayon lamang may magsisiwalat. Napakasela ng mga ito, kaya't sino man ay walang sumalang. 
pinagsikapan kong isa daw si ito ng mga bagay na ngayon. Ah, it's only no limit angel. Uh-huh. Napakasela ng mga ito, kaya't sino man ay walang sumalang. Pinagsikapan kong isagawa ang ayaw isagawa ng iba. Sinikap kong sagutin ang mga paghahal. <laughs> ano ba yun? I always amaze me how this polygrapho, ball blue <laughs> worked, you know, because like they were injected with uh, tinta, ink. no? Ink. With ink. But like as soon as you put them down, shouldn't you have like a huge explosion of ink and, and like horrible. Ang taon ay naitambak sa atin. Right, sa atin right. <laughs> But no, they were clever. Wow, the letters. The letters are very beautiful. In the iglesia. That's Spanish. Except that the, the iglesia is a y. Is, you know, starts with Y. Our iglesia starts with I. Sa paghahangad ko ng iyong kagaling ang kagaling. Is that the Santo Niño? Yes. Sa paghahanap ng pinakamabuting lunas. Gagawin ko ang ginagawa ng mga tao noong lumang panahon sa may sakit. Tinatambad sa mga baitang ng templo upang ang sino mang dumalangin doon ay makapaghahatol sa kanila ng lunas. Debes procurar evitar todo pecado venial, sobre todo deliberadamente. Is this the old? Naked woman nga. Perdón. Justo cuando I was going to post. But right. Is this an actor? I'm going to return. Is this an actor? Filipino or Spanish? Probably he's a Spanish. Because he, like his Spanish is really like yeah, really it took Spanish. Like a Spanish. I think he's from Spain. Let me know in the comments. I know. I think he's Philippine. <gasps> es él? Ay, they were the raping women, of course. Oh no. Nasa anyo ng pananampalataya. Ay sumapit upang tayo ay pagmalabisan. Busabusin. Inihiwalay ko ang tunay na pananampalataya sa huwad na pamahiin. At sa mga mga ngalakal ng mga salitang banal. Na tayo'y pinaniniwala sa mga kasalapod na ang lamang ng katolosismo ay ikahihiyan ito. This guy looks Spanish. <laughs> And this one is a prisoner, and they are like punishing him. Itinaas ko ang tabing upang itampad ang nasa likod ng mapanlinlang na luningning ng salita ng pamahalaan. Isinisuwalat ko sa ating mga kalahi ang ating mga kasiraan. bisyo at nakakaalipustang pagyuko at karuwagan sa pagpapahintulot sa ating kadalamhatian. La ofrenda. I imagine being an extra in this movie, like... Cuando pasen por la ofrenda, echale el dinero. <laughs> Is this Jose Rizal? Uh, I don't think so. Oh no! No! Just remind me of his being a... Tristan, <laughs> perdón, ¿qué? Just remind me of the kids from uh, Clara y Barria. Cristina, yeah. Tristan, what are the names? <laughs> However, those kids are product of yes, so so it's it's no imagination. This it's is not actually, imagination. It's based on true facts. Well, it's based on true facts, but it's not well, like they actually not, exist. Like they are really called it's Crispin like cualquier, and Batil. It's like cualquier parecido <laughs> a la realidad. Es, es pura coincidencia. Okay. 
Hey, this kid acts too well. Sa aking mga nobel, I was really concerned about it. Mapanirang puring paratang sa aming mga Pilipino. Si Crisostomo Ibarra. Inilipin oh, oh. ko <laughs> ang aking tatauhan sa kanya. Kung okay, kanya pa, so okay. this was Crisostomo. <laughs> so, we are inside of the novel. At dahil sa mga pangyayaring di inaasahan, siya'y napilitang magdalawang anyo. Senor Ibarra. Simon. Ikaw si Basilio. Matagal po kayong nawala. Hindi nyo na po alam ang mga nangyari dito sa ating bansa. Meron na pong mga kilusan. Nagsisimula na po sila mag-alas. Ang mga kabataan. Nananakinig pa rin kayo. Humihingi kayo sa Espanya ng pantay ng karapatan. Pero ang hinihingi ninyo ay katena. So this part is uh, about the filibusterismo. Mm -hmm. When Crisostomo changed his name. Ano ang inyong magiging kinabukasan? Isang bansang walang pagkatao at kalayaan. Ang lahat sa inyo ay hiniram. Pati na ang inyong mga depekto. No, pero sus pensiones son <laughs> ingobernables. I was not paying attention to that. I was paying attention to the intensity of the scene. <laughs> it's distracting for me. <laughs> and also to the fact that Basilio, this, he called this man Basilio, so Basilio will survive. Yeah. <laughs> Just give me a spoiler. <laughs> because I haven't finished Maria Clara at Ibarra. So now this is Jose Rizal. Like he was just writing the... Yeah, he was writing this that we just saw. Uh -huh. It's a warning. <laughs> Yeah, we were thinking the same things. <laughs> I just passed because I I like his smile. <laughs> oh, look at the KKK flag. <laughs> oh, so this is a... What is the, the name of the leader of the revolution, Capipunan? Bonifacio. Si. Cause, uh, because of the red bandana, you know, like he's always portrayed with a red bandana around his neck and like a pico de viuda in, in the hair. Unit matagot din kayo para sa inyong mga pamilya. Huwag na natin hintayin na pinatay na nila ang ating mga anak. Inabuso na ang ating mga babae. Kinamgam na ang ating mga bukid. At tinanggalan na tayo ng pagkatao at dignidad bago tayo kumilot. Tatahimik na lang ba tayo? Yes! Ang dama ay lumaban! Oo! Mabuhay ang Pilipinas! Mabuhay, Pilipinas! Mabuhay, Katipunan! Mabuhay, Mabuhay, Katipunan! Mabuhay, Mabuhay, Mabuhay sa Itorno Terisa! Malacanang Palace, ah, Malacanang. 1896. Is the palace still looking like that? To the... The is present this home? Emilio Aguinaldo? <laughs> no. No, this is Spain. Okay. Nuestras fuerzas están preparando una ofensiva a la provincia de Bulacan. <gasps> no, Bulacan. 
Nuestro objetivo, señores, es acabar con la rebelión antes de... Señor Dosalega, rebelión y rebelión. Esta es una revolución hecha y derecha. Pero su eminencia... Vosotros, los liberales, <risa> nunca sabéis lo que hacéis. Estamos haciendo todo lo que está en nuestras manos. Tenías que haber eliminado a Rizal cuando todavía estábamos a tiempo. Pero uno tiene suficientes pruebas de que Rizal... These people are Spanish, de Spanish from Spain. These digo. actors. Si no son, if they're not from Spain, they are from Latin America, but making a Spanish accent. Yeah. And why do I say this? Because when these guys, when these guys say, cuando tenías que haberlo hecho, so no, el, he sounded a little bit, a little bit Mexican. Mexican. Yeah. Like, let me repeat that part. Cuando todavía estábamos a tiempo. Pero uno... Cuando, cuando todavía estábamos a tiempo. tiempo. That was very Mexican accent. Or Nicaraguense. So it was like a bit like a... When he was doing the most Spaniard part, like Spaniard accent part, he was low. He lost his accent for a moment. He, he was <laughs> low because he was thinking. Overthinking. Overthinking in the accent. It has to come off I as a agree. Spaniard. So, tenías que haberte despecho de Rizal cuando todavía estamos a tiempo. <laughs> <laughs> tiempo, güey. Estamos a tiempo, cabrón. <laughs> Cédula. Cédula. Oh, las cédulas eran de papel. Wow. Wow. Filipinas. Is it in Tagalog already? Like you still say cédulas, guys? Let us know in the comments. But in Spanish, like we say cédula for ID. Yes, we but do. like I haven't heard anyone here in the Philippines calling their ID cédula. No, they all call it ID. Identification card or yeah. ID. ID, identification card or birth certificate. Let us know in, in the, the comments. comments. <laughs> they don't have enough proof to to really they accuse Dr. Jose Rizal of this revolution. But like if they just go and send a spy to one of the meetings, they will be alive because <laughs> they always mention Jose Rizal here. <laughs> like wow. Just send a spy to the meeting, guys. What are you doing? This is basic. <laughs> War one on one. What's happening? What the fuck? Is this a torture? Repito. Sí, yes it is. ¿Qué relación tiene tu hermano Jose con la rebelión de los indios? Oh, this is Jose Rizal's brother. ¿Acaso el doctor Rizal no es tu hermano? Oh my god. Oh my god. That man is not gonna talk. Por supuesto, no se preocupe, su excelencia. Oh my god. This movie is very cruel. This movie is raw. It's raw. It's unhinged. They are presenting all the violence, all the naked people. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> this is not what I was expecting for a Filipino movie. Sebastiano, ¿me escuchas? Oh my god. Olvídate de tu hermano y dinos toda la verdad. Dinos todo lo que ha hecho tu hermano en contra de la madre patria. Te prometo que te dejaremos en libertad. Ay, pero. ¡Bombatino, Gilad! ¡Cállate! ¡Cabrón! ¡Basta! So the Spaniards Pero, understood Tagalog no back in the day. Día. No te preocupes, no te preocupes. Ya no nos sirve para nada. 
De todos modos han detenido a José Rizal. ¡Ah! Esto que le sirva de lección a su familia para que sepa que la próxima vez tienen que cooperar con nosotros. You see, that actor is not a Spaniard. He actually sounded a bit Cuban at one point. <laughs> when But, he uh, wait, wait, don't, don't pause. No te preocupes. No te preocupes. Ya no nos sirve para nada. Bueno, no nos sirve para nada. Cuando dijo ya no nos sirve para nada, I felt he was Cuban because he said sirve. He didn't say sirve with R. And Cuban sometimes, uh, they just like ignore the R completely. And <laughs> fire the R and use like a sirve. You, you understand? Sirve <laughs> instead of sirve. Pero coronel, no ha dicho nada todavía. Listen to the word no again. Ya no nos sirve para nada. No nos sirve ya para nada. No sirve para nada. <laughs> But the other guy is a Filipino because he's speaking Spanish with a Filipino accent. No yeah. 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 No, I think you're not a Yeah. Ya no nos sirve para nada. You want todos modos han detenido a José Rizal. Ajá. Esto que le sirva de lección a su familia para que sepa que la próxima vez tienen que cooperar con nosotros. Actually, this will serve as a lesson to the family that it doesn't matter if you talk or not talk. They will this still gonna do whatever the fuck they want. Yeah. So it's better if you, uh, in the end, don't betray your family. Very. <laughs> you did well, Jose Rizal's brother. <laughs> oh, Sisa is there? But Sisa. No more Sisa. Ah. <laughs> true, it's true. Okay, so it has confused the reality with the picture. So confused. Because <laughs> the thing is that if Jose Rizal wrote about real people, ¿sí va? <laughs> and, then, and then there's the Not Cisa in Not necessarily life. people. Remember that Cisa represented Philippines in the story. Yes, it's true. The mother of Philippines. <laughs> But then, why is there a Cisa in real life? Because it's a common name. Oh, yeah. Oh, my <laughs> this has me confused. Oh, no. They released the brother. At least they released him alive. Oh, my God. And Jesus. At least he can be, you know, like with his clean conscience that he didn't betray his family and, uh -huh. and he was integral, like, he was brave. Pepe. Pepe. I cannot. Oh, shit. They are taking him to Puerto Santo. Oh my Santo. God, he's going to be so soon, but, but he's the, not even... Exactly. We don't even have the movie. He cannot What about the part I saw in TikTok? <laughs> ah, it's true that they were in a school. Exactly, and... like, where is it? Why is not showing me this? Póngame ahí 30 años más a the anterior <laughs> or something like that. Oh my god, we've been there! Yes! <laughs> It was such a hot day, oh my god. So, Remember the statue of Jose Rital there in, in, in El Fuerte. Uh -huh. Like, now I remember this, and I remember, and I see this actor, and like, oh my god, he really looks like him. <laughs> oh my god, I had like a deja vu when, I when think he was... I think the estilismo is... You know, they, they did a great job of yeah, makeup and hair and... and... 35. 35 años. Sí, señor. Pero la gente dice que parezco más... Profesión. Oh, my God. <laughs> Qué rabia. El escritor. Ah, oh, he's médico. Okay. Verdad, sí. Entonces a Bonifacio, el fundador de Catipuna. Claro, semipana. No conozco, coronel. ¿Acaso no lo conocí? en una reunión secreta en casa de Doroteo Doroteo Onjonco Aquella reunión no era secreta, coronel Si hubiera sido secreta ¿Cómo es que usted lo sabe ahora? Aquí no hay nada que no se sepa en España ¿Qué quiere que le responda? ¿Quiere que le mienta? 
you know mm-hmm. the actor could yeah. also be like from the Canary yeah. Islands yeah. and yeah. stuff that they had kind of like an yeah. accent like that because I noticed that he used the S uh, when you conjugate the verb like conociste uh, te juntaste conociste there are some people in Spain who speak like that yeah but not like common it's more common like for there are people well conociste yeah but no conociste juntaste but yeah there are some people in Spain that speak like that there are people also like in Miami that speak like that. Yes, a lot. too. Especially Cubans. That's why I'm thinking this actor is Cuban. <laughs> oh my God, we're going to look for the information later. Posible entonces que tu nombre y tu foto aparecen en las reuniones de Catifunga. No lo sé. Nombre y foto. Pero yeah. según mi madre, algunos yeah, cristianos foto. piden donaciones en mi nombre. Coronel. Yo le aseguro que no tengo nada que ver con eso. ¿Es usted un traidor, doctor Rizal? Coronel. Te pregunto si eres un traidor como el padre Burgos. Me vayas a decir ahora que has olvidado que tu última novela fue dedicada a él. <risa> Por con burta. Ay. Oh my god. Mm. Talking about Gombursa, there's a movie now in the, in in the, the movies. Theater. Yeah, in the theater, in the cinema. But I know that we cannot watch it because uh, even if there's a Spanish in the movie, like the rest of the movie, we will not understand it because there's no subtitles. Is there? It's in Tagalog and there's, there's no, no subtitles, subtitles because they assume that everybody that's gonna watch it speaks Tagalog. So, yeah. I'm gonna have to wait until somebody subtitles and upload it to the internet. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Qué le pasó? Este es el destino de todos los soberbios que se rebelan contra la madre España. Wait, they are choking him like this in pure force? En in front of everyone. Solamente nos dan dolores. Oh my God. Nasaksihan ng kapatid kong si Kuya Pasiano ang lahat ng araw na iyon. Siya ang nagmulat sa akin sa mga karahasang nagaganap. Gusto ng mga paring Pilipino, no? Bigyan sila ng pantay na karapatan. Kagaya ng mga Friday. Pero kahit may pinaratangas sila sa Tresibo, ito pinapatay. Oh, so that's what happens. Sina Padre Burgos Gomez at Samora, eh dinawit lamang sa isang pag-asa sa Cavite. Oh my god. Malamang ay minaman man na ako ng mga kasila dahil may panahon ding nakitara ako kay Napadre Burgos. Madami din ako natutunan sa kanya. <laughs> That's Rizal when he was a baby. Oh, baby no? boy! Baby Rizal. Ano naman ni Padre Burgos sa pagkakataon sa kanya mga pare? Hindi naman ako sila. Yan yeah, Amana. El papa. Mula ngayon, ayoko nang mababanggit pa ang pangalang yan sa bahay na ito. Pero tatang, hindi makatarungan ang ginawa nila. Ano lang? Ano ho yung hindi makatarungan? Okay, usapang matanda ito. Sige, kumain ka na. Matanda, alaw po naman kung hindi ko yan kasyano ah. Pepe, Pepe. <laughs> Pepe, I cannot. Let's go. Bakit hindi kami pwede sumay sa usap na matanda? Bakit kami yung mga bata pag nag-uusap, maaari kayong sumali? Hindi ata makatarungan yun. Ano bang naintindihan mo? Sige, sumayin ka na lang dyan. Baka 
Atarrungan ang chinelas kung matikman mo. Chinelas! The power of chinelas! <laughs> eh, Latina mo ang ubi. Kala ito, muchacho, ang dia! <laughs> but I remember that mom used to say the same thing to yes, us. Like, yeah, yeah. Son, cha, son conversaciones de adulto. Muchacho no hablan en conversaciones de adulto. Es paso habitación. I never replied back. If you reply back, you they don't will, have a mouth to yeah, yeah, yeah. Your mouth is this. They're gonna break your mouth. So yeah. What is this? Arroz con sardina. Ah, it's sardina. Arroz con pecaito de lo que comen los filipinos. Arroz con dry fish. Mamatay daw kayong manonulat. Sana. Yun ang sabi nila. Pero ako, hindi ako marunong gumasa. Hindi ba't lagi daw kayong pinapahamak ng mga sinusulat nyo? Dahil sa mga fry, Leo. Eh, yung pala eh. Bakit di kayo tumigil? Gusto nyo bang ganito? Lagi kayo nakakulong? Edukado pa naman kayong tao. Taas-taas lang yung pinag-aralan. Dami-dami yung nalalaman. Pero nasaan kayo ngayon? Tignan nyo ako. Walang alam, kaya walang kalaban. <laughs> May pagtatapat ako sa'yo, Kato. Noon, ang akala ko, ang tanging mahalaga sa buhay ay ang edukasyon. Pero nadiskubre ko, depende pala yon sa pinag-aaralan. Meron palang pinag-aaralang nakabubulag. Kaya ngayon, alam ko na. Oh, he's a magician now. Wow, when there was change. <laughs> lahat ng bagay matututunan dito sa bahay. Kaya ano, dadalawin yung mga sakalagi doon. Saka dapat matuto kang mamuhay ang hindi lagi nakasukob sa pamilya mo. Di ba, Pasyano? Yes, absolutely Ay. correct. Sige na, bilisan mo na, Pasyano. <laughs> Dati mo na kapatid mo. Mano po. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's crying because he doesn't want me to. Let's go. And then sending me like it's a tragedy. Like this is happening. Go. Interesting. May alam ka ba sa salitang Kastila? Eh, sa wikang Latin. Tonto, ikaw ang nung poko dahil napakalit mo. Ay! Siguro walang laman yung utak mo, kundi ang poko. Akin na yung kanang kamay mo. Bakit po? Really? Pa! Para mo ang sa utak mo. 
ang matagal mo nang dapat alam. That's a motive for hitting a kid. Makakalimutan mo na. Ang umpo ko. Well, you remember wrong way. <laughs> I don't want to remember my primary school days, but yeah, this happened a lot. Yeah, but that is because you said just a little bit. Oh, the salt is peliawan. The salt is too fight in school. Is this in Rizal biography? Wow, esta lamparita de aceite. Remember this? This oil. Maybe, maybe what is in his biography is that he used to stand up to the bullies. But don't <laughs> edit description that is exactly why or how he did it. <laughs> <laughs> On everything, there's like creative freedom. Maski anong paalala ng kanyang ina, na huwag siyang lalapit sa apoy, ay lapit pa rin siya ng lapit. Gusto ang gusto niya ang liwanag ng apoy. Kaya sinuway niya ang biling ng kanyang ina. Lumipad siya ng lumipad, palibot sa apoy. Palapit ng palapit sa apoy. Hanggang palapit maglihabang sa... pakpak niya. At tuluyan siyang mamatay. Of course, mamatay. <laughs> Pepe, naiintindihan mo ba ang ibig sabihin ng kwento ng kamugamu? Moral of the story, if you play with fire, you will get burned. What's happening? What's happening? What? 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 Ah, so they are just accusing them of random crimes just to take them. But this was when Rizal was young. Yeah. Wow. Aminin ba naman lang silang mga pastila ang wala sa lugar dito sa ating bayan? Is you? Hindi mo na ngayon na hindi mo na maaaring gamitin ang ating mga kapatado. Kapanganib para sa'yo. Madadamay ka sa pagiganting ginagawa ng mga demonyo na kasaya laban sa ating pamilya. Bakit kuya? Pinagiinitan lang ang ating pamilya dahil naging malapit ako kay na Padre Burgos. Pati pagtanggi ng tatang na taas na ng binabayad na buwis ay binigyan nila ng masamang kahulugan. Kaya ikaw, Pepe, mag-aaral ka mabuti. Huwag mong ipahihiya ang pamilya natin. Oo, kuya. Eh, ano nga palang pangalan ang gagamitin ko mula ngayon? Rizal. This is when he went to school for the first time. No, the first time, remember that? Oh no, this is university, okay. No, he's too still a kid. Too young for university. El Fierro de Cesar. El Fierro de Cesar. Continuen. No, hace. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> the standard. You know, uh, yeah, the, it was it was very strict back then. <laughs> it, like I would give I give them a pass in this. <laughs> Enterrado. Enterrado con el suelo. Y así se dijo el César. 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 El noble bruto se ha dicho que César. César. César era ambicioso. Ambicioso. Sí, así era. Era una falta grave. Lo ha respondido gravemente. Muy bien, Rizal. Wow. Qué lindo. No. But this kid is very good. This yeah, yeah, yeah. This kid actor is very good. Narinig na nila akong umiiyak. Nasa yan pa lang ako ng nana. Gusto ko na raw makalabas. This is the scene that I'm not understanding. This is Rizal in his jail, talking to a person. I don't know if he's in his jail, jail cell. I don't know who this person is either. I'm confused. Yeah, like I was expecting like. The it's continuation because there of are, him talking to the general. Yeah, then. it's because there are a lot of uh, timelines. Timelines, yeah. yeah. So now I am confused with them. The mother is back from jail, or that was before she was arrested. Okay, so that was after. Wow, you can work a miracles. At kalungkutan ang makikita ko. Hindi bale lang tuluyan ako mabulag. Wow! Danya, but don't be so serious. Very dramatic. This is a caring moment. Ayun yun nun, malinaw yung makikita ang aking kapisigan. He's, he's chill. <laughs> he's chill. The <laughs> other, the other guy is kini kili. The mother has no <laughs> chill. Siguro ikaw sa bawat bansang binisita mo, marami kang babaeng pinaiyak ano? Maria, hindi pinaiyak, hindi pinaligaya. <laughs> Why she reacting like this? Sana like this is the bad thing. Conservatives. Marami na ako nalakbay. <laughs> okay, yeah. This is from jail cell. Okay. But who is the guy, though? Another. A cellmate. He had a cellmate. Apparently. Or is this product of crystal <laughs> imagination? To not He's a friend. servant. He's a servant. Mucho gusto. Usted rectal. Quiero calor. Tenga la buena presentación. Pinapili nila ako sa napakaraming pangalan. Pangalan mo ang pinili ko. So this Bakit? is his lawyer. Mhm. Uh -huh. Sa tangan mo ng lahat at pinalangyong edukasyon. Sa kanya mo rin ba natutunan ang iyong edukasyon? Kaso mo ang pinag-uusapan natin dito. Hindi sa bagay. Tama. Totoo. Marami ako natutunan sa kanyang mga universidad. Lalo na dito sa mga universidad sa Pilipinas na pinatatakbo ng kanyang mga private. And now we're gonna see the flashback of the universe. Ng tao ay pantay-pantay. Ay pantay-pantay. Santo hey. Tomas. UST, shout out. Skeleto actua como ligadura de los músculos. Yes. Asimismo, protege los órganos vitales como el hígado, corazón, los pulmones, el corazón. Imbécil. <laughs> This is the scene from el TikTok. Cerebro, el corazón, los pulmones. Bien. 
Fernando, levántate aquí, por favor. Tú, 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 párate aquí, aquí, aquí. ¿Qué podéis decir sobre la diferencia entre sus estaturas? ¿Acaso este indio tiene menos huesos que Fernando? No. Esto quiere decir que somos superiores a los filipinos. But isn't this guy filipino? <laughs> bueno, además de esto. Plus, plus, the friar is almost the same height as the little guy. <laughs> <laughs> so the, your bullying is not effective. <laughs> Profesor. Ay. Pizzale en su chiste malo. Si la estatura es la única razón del por qué los españoles se consideran superiores. Entonces, ¿por qué España ha perdido algunas de sus colonias donde a las razas no son grandes de estatura? This guy is Filipino, this guy is nice. I think the other guy is mixed. Mestizo. Ah, you know, mestizos, you know, mestizos had a. Uh, they more... were very uh, soberbio, like mm -hmm. uh, we we are Spanish. They, they were like uh, in a higher society yes. level. Yes, so Back they then. they thought they, they were superior to the Indios. Indios yeah, it's true. <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> the drawings. Noon pa man ay mahilig ka nang bumangga sa pader. Lalo na kung ang pader ay hindi nagsasabi ng katotohanan. Kinalaban mo ang iglesia, ang mga fray. Sila nang salita at utos ay batas dito sa Pilipinas. Isa akong manunula. Kalabang ko ang lahat, pati ang sarili ko. Pero sa pagsusulat mo, ang ipinakita mo lamang ay ang panig ninyong mga Pilipino. So sa mga Pilipino, hello? Ang mga fray. Magsulat din sila kung gusto nilang marinig ang panig nila. <laughs> Hindi exactly. responsibilidad ng isang manunulat ang isulat ang katotohanan. Kanina. No, I'm a writer, not a journalist. Yeah, <laughs> like, there's one thing. Like, I, I, I am writing fiction novels. Any, any, como parecido sa, como se dice parecido en inglés? How, how, what is the disclaimer they put in English? Like, if, if this looks like any reality or fact that ha happened or any character, this is pure coincidence, okay? It's coincidental, okay? Thank you. Now, there's people who Very write similar. no fiction that they have to be worried about the sides and the truth, and the such as, so, like, Sol said, Journalist. Eso ang ginawa mo ay hindi arte, kundi propaganda. Mm. How dare you? So they got me a lawyer that is against me. Censura, ang kinakalaban ng iyong mga nobela ay ang gobyerno, ang relisyon, ang mga kastilang kawanin ng katarungan at ang karangalan ng Espanya. Hmm. Napakarami ko namang kinalaban. Kaya minabuti nilang ipagbawal ang pag-imprenta at pagbenta ng mga libro mo sa buong Pilipinas. Lahat ng bagay na isinulat ko ay napaugat sa katotohanan. This is, you sa see, bagay na, this is when he's finding more enemies. You have to say, eh, ni parecido con la realidad is just pure coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he has to be so honest. Na isulat ko. And loyal. Ano mga Pilipino ang kanilang mga sarili. Grabe ang baho. Bakit ko naman matagal ng amoy? Grabe ang baho. Bakit ko tinira ang ano pala na eh? Inutusan tayo ni Padre Damaso upang ilipat ito sa ibang libingan. Sino ba ito? Oh, so this is in the novel. Tao. Aha. Pero Oh, oh. Oh, oh. why did Ibarra did this? Oh, 
Naranasan ko ng lahat, Tabiel. Nawala na ako ng asawa at anak, ng pamilya. Pati na nakarangalan ka na yan. Itinapo nila ako. Niloko nila ako. Pinagtak sila nila. Kaya ang pakiramdam mo, superior ka, dahil nagdaan ka na sa hirap. Ang hinihingi lang namin ay pagkakapantay at tayo. Isang mapayapang pagpapangkos sa mga edukasyon at gawain sila. Makinala ang Pilipino bilang kapantay ng Kastila. This actor, foreigner, knows a lot of Tagal. Sino? I'm impressed. Yeah. Ako yung sugo ni Alicia. You guys tell Sino us if he sounds natural. For me, sa... he sounds very fluent. Jeff, ikaw ba'y propeta o disipulo? Iisipin ng mga estudyante ng Kastila na kinakalaban natin sila. Oo nga. Sandali. <laughs> Tahimik ang ating pamamaraan. Magsisimula tayo sa loob ng ating mga sarili sa pamamagitan ng pagdadamayan. Chonggo! Chonggo. <laughs> Aquí viene a nosotros. Lo mestiza. ¡Cabrón! Mm -hmm. ¡Ay! Hey, to the friar, no. <laughs> so much for peaceful gatherings and shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, the thing that all gatherings were misinterpreted. Like, uh, yeah. oh, why are all these Filipinos together? <laughs> what is happening here? <laughs> <laughs> Even if they have no ill intention, intention, you know? Like, it looks bad. <laughs> it looks like they are rallying up. Sí. Sayang te, hindi mo nakita kung paano namin pinulbo sa mapuputlang bangus na yun. <laughs> tama na muna yan, tama na muna yan. Bayaan niyo muna magpahinga si Jose. Bukasan lang kayo bumalik. Yeah. These are on scratched and Jose is the only one that even was unconscious. <laughs> I think uh, they threw a rock on him, no? <laughs> <laughs> Habang lumalapit kay... Mubuti ang aking pakiramdam. With this? Lumapit ka pa? One of Rizal's girlfriend. <coughs> But supposedly you cannot leave a woman and a man together alone in a room? It's true. What happened there? Or is this his wife? Ilang linggo pa lang nakakaraan ay nagkaroon ka na ng bulaklak sa gila? Kung sino-sinong babae, pinariringgan mo ng matatamis mong salita habang wala ako. Ikaw wala ba? Hello, so toxic! Ikaw ang maraming nakikilala. Para nga akong preso sa dormitoryo. Sino naman nakikilala ko doon? Lisa? What? Excuse me. <laughs> Is he ghosting? <laughs> That is why they say the Maria Clara character is inspired by his ghosting, for whose whom he had a crush on, but. It seems their relationship was canon <laughs> and not amor prohibit. I don't know what to think about. Well, mm. now it's, this is not well seen now, but before, I think it was this was a normal. Let, Let us know, know in the comments. <laughs> My question is like, where's the doctor and everybody like that was there now? Suddenly it's just these two people doing romance in a hospital bedroom. It's not, it's not a hospital. He was in his house. I don't know. Also, it's not in the script that they appear during this moment. 
Hmm? It's not in the script of this movie that they ah, appear okay. during this moment. Ano sa palagay mo, Tabiel? Ikaw ang tinatanong ko sa muli na kanya. Nagpunta ka sa iba't ibang lugar sa buong mundo. At bakit? Anong ginagawa mo doon? Sino nagpadala sa'yo? Ang katipunan. Oh my God! As you in the katipunan. What a money to send people traveling around the world. <laughs> I'm sorry. 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 I'm Hindi kayo ang pumunta ron. Bakit ako papupuntahin nyo? Dahil ikaw ang higit na makikinabang sa Europa. Doon ay matututo ka at malaya mong may pamumukha ang baho ng pamahalaan ng mga Kastila dito. Doon ay marami ring ibang mga Pilipino. Malaya ninyong may susulat ang tungkol sa mga kinakailangang pagbabago at katangon ng wala dito sa ating bayan. Kuya, hindi pa ako handa. Pepe, hindi lamang ako ang may pasya nito. Pinag-usapan na namin ito ng ilang kapanalig. Padadalang ka namin ng panggastos, Bonbon. Pero kuya, sinananang hindi pa payag yun. Hindi muna natin sasabihin sa kanila. Malalaman lamang nila kapag nasa Europa ka na. Ah, so the security guard was correct. This was a plot. <laughs> Founded by the Katipunan. <laughs> oh my God. Hindi mo pa rin ako sinasagot. Kita kita. Bakit ka <laughs> ah, I'm Palaman deep in my thoughts and this ano guy always interrupt me. <laughs> Bakit mo ba ako pinipilit na panindigan at ipagtanggo ng aking buhay at lahat ng aking paniniwala? Babalik na lang ako sa ibang harap kapag hindi na mainit ang ulo mo. Guardia! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pepe, huwag mo kaming bibiguhin. Marami kaming umaasa sa mga magagawa mo doon. That's a lot of responsibility to give to one person. Mm-hmm. What does Musculus Flexivus say in orbital? Are they guessing? If they are guessing, a professor in our university will be enraged. Like, you're guessing, you're asking me? I'm asking you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I paused. Ew. Este músculo. Elevator palpebrae superior. Se mete dentro de la parte superior del párpado. Y no del globo del ojo. Así, este solo levanta los párpados. Y los otros seis músculos oculares. Medial rectus. <laughs> this is rectus. so graphic. Oh Superior my god. Rectus. Inferior rectus. Superior oblique. Inferior oblique. <laughs> Todos tienen funciones rotativas. Y hacen mover el globo del ojo. Si se lastiman los nervios de uno de estos músculos, ¿qué pasará con nuestro paciente? Habrá una parálisis. De uno o más músculos oculares que producirá una deplopía. Fenómeno morboso. <risa> oculares, no oculares. Dobles los ovejos. <risa> Excelente. Bravo. Rizal, bravo. ¡Ey! No bulto. Oh, o sea, de Rizal, dos entra en calco. <risa> And what is this wine that is green? 
Hanggat hindi tayo natututong gumalang sa ating mga sarili, kailanman ang hindi tayo igagalang ng ibang layo. Ay, Rizal, you went to a party for this. <laughs> no, how to think. It's really I mean, fun like, and fun, yes. Well, he's thinking it through, but like, it's a party, bro. He went to Spain on a mission. It's Mga true. Kababayan, he did that every time he could. <laughs> Period. Isn't this Emily Arginal? <laughs> <laughs> Salud. That feast looks delicious. Hidalgo. Ang taniman ay handa na. At ang lupa. He's he's accepting the discourse over. <laughs> Dude, this guy Emilia Giraldo, yes or yes? <laughs> I don't care, I don't care what you guys say. This started as a, school, as a speech for the painters and ended as a speech for freedom and, and revolution and all this. <laughs> he really has no chill. Rizal has no chill. They keep singing. These are very strong ideas, very dangerous <laughs> ideas for their time. Señor Gobernador Silio, Teniente, buenas noches. Necesitamos a buscar en tu casa. Oh. Ah, but hindi muna kayo magsalabat. Hiding, paglabas ka na sa labat, narito si Teniente. No, tenemos dos tiempo. Buscar en tu casa. Sandali. Ano dito mismo? Teniente. Sandali lang po. Teniente, ano ba 'to? Ano ibig sabihin ng lahat ng ito, Teniente? Teniente. Arrestarle. Iarrestar a todos. Ilong kasalanan namin. Por hacer de ilegal. Okay, so he also wrote articles. articles in Spanish. So people from Spain know like why what's wow, happening in the what's Philippines. happening in the Philippines, yes. Wow, they were burning all the books for real. <laughs> and masking as a religious stuff. To Rizal. I think the, also, the isolation is getting to him. <laughs> oh, wow. What's happening? 
Matagal na tayo naririto na nangangampanya para sa Pilipinas. Taon-taon, lumalaki ang ating organisasyon. Kung hindi pa tayo formal na magbubuklod, wala tayong mararating. Wala tayong mararating at babagsak na naman tayo sa matatamis na kandungan ng mga babae sa provena. Bravo! We have to care about something serious. Bago tayo maghalal ng isang pangulo, dapat muna nating linawin ang kapangyarihan niya. That's very reasonable. Kapangyarihang maglaheng at magbabae. Okay. Sakelo. Get out. Get out of the meeting. Get out of this meeting. Naisip ko lang ang kahalagahan ng periodikong ilang solidaridad sa ating kampanya. Kung paihintulot ng ating kagalang-galang na paslugot, ang Pangulong mahalal ang siyang dapat na may huling pasya sa lahat ng sulatin ilalabas niya. Sa gayong paraan, makasisiguro tayo sa kaitahan ng kilo. Kinalulungkot ko. Pero napaka-estupid ko naman siguro kung sasangayon ako dyan. Huh? So, suggest something? Dispensa, paisano. Pero bagamat totoong naglilingkod para sa kapakanan ng mga Pilipino ang periodiko, dapat isipin ito'y privado pa rin imprensa. Privado? Ang mahalaga ay lagi kaming bukas para sa mga sulating makatutulong sa ating pinaglalaban, hindi ba? But he didn't say that nobody. Ten rats. It's just that the president has to approve. Hindi privado kundi pambansa ang mga adhikain ng la solidaridad. Hmm, drama. Isn't this Emilia Hinaldo? Oh my God. Pepe. Pepe, sandali lang. Marami lang silang kiyaw-kiyaw, parang tandang na manok. Pero tsak naman ikaw ang makahalal bilang Pangulo. Salamat, salamat. Ngunit ang pamumunong walang pagkakaisa ay wala rin simpli. Sandali lang, Pepe. Pagpasensyaan mo na si Marcelo. Alam mo naman yun, madaling mag-init ang tenga. Yaman din lamang na privado pa lang la solidaridad. Lubusin niya na ang kanyang katakiman. Siya na maging Pangulo. Pepe! Maraming umaasa sa'yo. Saan ako nagkama? Lagi ako nagsisilbi sa mga batugang katamanan. Ngayon matuto silang tumindig sa sarili ng mga paa. Pepe! Baka namang pupunta. Let him go, Paano my friend. Paano naman napasimula natin? Inilalapit ko sa inyo ngayon ang pagbubuo ng La Liga Filipina. Ooh, sounds... So isang samahang sa palagay ko'y pinakamabisang kasangkapan para tayo tuluyang lumaya. Sounds exclusive and shiny and and yeah. Sa samahang ito, mabuhay! It's like, you see, here is that I needed to be. Because here people have set my ideas. People are more opening to what I had to say. They are not like, oh, party and women and whatever. Like, they are serious. Oh! Oh, Paulino! Ngunit ang La Liga Filipina ay nanatiling pangarap. Nagtanim ng mga mapangwasak na pulyeto ang ilang ahente ng mga praile sa aking maleta. Of course. Dahil dito, kababalik ko pala ngay agad akong pinadakip at ipinatapon sa isang malayong tubig. Sa dakila. Sa pagitan ng mga bundok. Kapiling ko ang dagat. Ano mo'y isang napakalawak na tinta para sa isang maliit. na wala ng maisugat. Palibhasa, ang mga layuning ko'y layunin ng isang makata, tulad ng mga ano, lumalapit, lumalayo, kailanman ay hindi maangkin. So what uh, happened to Rizal in the to Rizostomo in the movie happened to him? Ang dapita na isa rin magandang pagkakata. Dahil kay Josephine. 
na dumating dito tila tangay-tangay ng hangin. Dala ay kalinga at katahimikan. Ah, so he met a woman niya, over there. He had a lot of girlfriends. Ay maaari kong isa buhay. Esa era la legal. What's happening? I cannot see when. <laughs> No, 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 no. Mientras Rizal viva, no tendremos paz en estas islas. Rizal está en el exilio en la Pitan. Está muy lejos para causarnos dolores de cabeza. Él inspiró esta revolución. <laughs> Él estaba mal, ¿eh? En España. Y hizo algo. No me diga cuál he was fatter in Spain. Bueno, Still, he was giving you guys headaches. Cumple con tu deber o márchate de este país. What is he writing? Mi último adiós. Doctor Izal, discúlpame por haber venido sin avisarle antes. No comprendo, mi doctor. Me dan náuseas cuando veo un oficial español. No sé qué decir. Sé cómo curar. Es cierto lo que dicen. No le teme a nada. Por eso tiene muchos enemigos. Isa akong ophthalmologo. Ang gusto ko lang ay makakita ng malinaw ang aking mga kababayan. Kailangan ba isinusulat ang lahat ang nakikita? Kung hindi, General, anong pagkakaiba natin sa mga hayo? Ganyan ba katalat ang tila ng iyong mga nabela? Napa? So you haven't read... <laughs> hindi ba? <laughs> you haven't... No, well, so you don't like them. <laughs> yeah, then okay, it's you know, confounded. How do you feel? Can you be able to get this in General Blanc? Mas masikip nga lang dito na wala ang mga tanawin, ang mga kargatan, ang kabundukan. O siyan? Pinaniwala niyo kung pinapayagan niyo ako pumunta ng Cuba para magsimbing doktor ko. Yun pala. Ipauhuli niyo lang ako at ipakukulong na muli ako. Isa kayo ng hipokrito. Uy, hipokrito. Naisip ako sa bilis ng mga pangyayari. Bigla na lang sumabog ang lahat. Kailanman ay hindi ko pa hihintulot ang gamitin ang aking pangalan sa ganitang paraan. Ang aking mga isinulat, ang pagpapahalaga ko sa edukasyon, sa kapayapaan. Mawawala nang sa isa'y lahat dahil lamang sa iilang Pilipinong hindi makapaghintay ng tamang panahon. Bakit hindi kayo magpalabas ng manifesto para pabulaanan ng lahat? Ah, that's what you want him to. Mga kababayan, ang himagsikan ay sumiklab sa kabila ng aking pagtutol. Ang pakikitigma sa panahong kasalukuyan ay hindi makakatulong sa atin. Ito ay masahol pa sa pagpapatiwakal. Parece que el gobernador Blanco está siendo demasiado amable con nuestro querido prisionero. ¿Y hay algo de malo en eso? Blanco es quien va a buscarme y quien puede revocar la sentencia o corporarla. My friend Swallow bueno, first, ¿eh? before talking. ¿Ya no se acuerdan cómo Rizal sabe caer bien a la gente? Claro. Y ganarse la simpatía de Blanco es muy fácil para él. El demonio se transforma en muchas figuras. A 
veces catipuneros, a veces novelistas, oh, uh. a veces también gobernador general. <risa> Vamos a ver. Bueno. ¿Desde cuándo Blanco ha sido un problema, aunque sea un demonio? Es brillante. ¡Feliz Navidad! ¡Feliz Navidad! ¡Feliz Navidad! Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Wow, this is a Christmas movie official, officially, <laughs> okay. The kid, Nuevo gobernador o la vieja. Lo reemplazaron. Wow, la traición, hermano. Without even telling him. This is to get you talking, Rizal. Don't fall for this trap. <laughs> Jokes on them, because Rizal doesn't drink alcohol. It's poison. I think it's poison. That's not how, that's not how he dies anyway. Feliz Navidad, señor Hidalgo. Maybe the poison is in the cup. Feliz Navidad. Buen Natal. Merry Christmas, señor Hidalgo. Feliz Pascua, señor Hidalgo. Because why he why insists in giving exactly that cup to him? Rizal didn't drink it. Yes, he did. Ah, he did. Both drank. So maybe there's nothing suspicious and we are I don't just... trust anyone. Ah, it's Elber. Well, so Aww. they didn't even give him the Christmas dinner. Okay. Pastor Sabilin. Las mañanas. But this is this is for birthday party, not Yo for Christmas. Ya los pajaritos ca 
vengo a saludarte. Todo con gusto y placer a felicitarte. Como te quieren llover, aquí estaba la mañana. So, las mañanitas have different lyrics back in the day. Las mañanitas have more lyrics than what we know of. Apparently. Not only the ones that we know that we sing for birthday parties. Yes. Eso cuando estaba en España. He was in Spain in this moment. Yes. He's remembering this. Mm -hmm. Mahal kong kapatid. Kumusta ka na at ang iyong mga isinusulat? Huwag mong pababayaan ang iyong katawan. Bukod sa pluma, ang iyong kalusugan ang tangi mong kakampi laban sa mga kaaway. Pasensya ka na ako ngayon lamang ako nakasulat. Pepe, isang malaking trahedya ang nangyari sa Kalamba. Noong ikaanim ng Setyembre ay dumating dito ang isang pulutong ng mga kwartya sibil. Patagal ng bulong-bulong ang paglusog nila. Mula pa nang magpetisyon tayo laban sa maling pamamalakad ng mga pride sa ating lupa. Pero walang nagkakalang magaganap ito sa madaling panahon. Pamilya ay binigyan nila ng 24 oras upang maging paki at lisanin ang mga bahay. Nang hindi pumayag si nananang at tatang, ay pwersahan silang itinulak palabas. Muntik nang sumubsob ang nanang sa putikan. Oh my God! They're gonna kill mga walang hiyang priding yan. Kasalanan ba kung nagawa ng mga magsasaka na magkaisa at kalabanin sila? Hindi na nga silang tunay na may-ari ng lupa. Sila pa itong may ganang maningil ng buwis. Buti sana kung napupunta ang pera sa gobyerno at hindi sa nanlilimahid nilang mga simbahan. Nang araw na yun, kahit saang bahagi ng kalamba ka magpunta, maririnig mo ang taghoy ng mga tao. Parang isang mahabang parada ng patay ang nangyari. Kahit ang mga bata na karaniwa'y walang kamuwang-muwang, kahit sila makikita mong umiiyak. Wala na tayong babalikan. Kinamkam nila ang lahat. Oh, wow. Ang ating bahay, ang ating lupa, lahat. Pero magpakatatag ka, Pepe. Patuloy wow. mong ilantad sa buong mundo ang ating hinaing. At huwag kang mag-alala sa amin. Dahil sa kabila ng lahat, hindi kami nawawala ng loob. Those were not. Those 
who are not good news. No! He's burning El Philip Bute. El Philip Bute. Okay, I, I can ask. Ya entró en razón. I can ask. This is the way. Philip Bute. Oh my god. Oh, there was another letter. Yeah, it fell to the that ground. Fell down he and he didn't notice. From your love, beloved Leonor, aka Pinsan, Maria Clara. Pepe, naway na katagpo ka na ng tunay na kalikayan sa yung mga sulatin. Umahanga ako sa katapangan mo. Ngunit nalulungkot din. Okay, she, she's breaking up she's with She's marrying him. somebody else. Oh, wow. Another bad news. Oh, my God. But she's going to the altar crying. Alam, magpapakasal ako so balit mananatili akong nakagapos sa ala-ala ng iyong pagmamahal. Panaginip kang lumulutang Hindi mahagip kahit puyan Pinsa bakit ako Well, this is sad. <laughs> this is sad. And I said it with a smile in my face. But uh, yeah. Maybe he will get like furious and like use these feelings to write even more. Isn't this the same actress that was doing Maria Clara? I think this is a huge spoiler of how Maria Clara's story is ending. Not the look of hair. Not this. <laughs> well, that was something that was used in the past. Angel filibusterismo. Nabasa ko na rin. Oh! Napakadilim na nobela. Yes. Lasing ka na, Tabiel. <laughs> Pumasok na ang alak hanggang sa kaluluwa mo. Nalasing ako ng mga nobela mo. Kung naglalagay mo na ako ng dilim, yun ay sa kagustuhan ko ipakita ang liwan. Wala akong makitang liwanag kay Simon. Noong si Barra pa lang siya, oo. Pero nang maging si Simon na siya, umitim na ang kaluluwa niya. So, Ibarra really Ikaw becomes si Simon. Simon. Oh, this is the thingy Ilan about pa. the lamp. Oh my God, no! <laughs> Ah, 
Papatay ka? Nasa pagtitipong yun. Lahat ng mga mahalagang tao sa gobyerno ay sasimbahan. Pero paano ang mga walang sana? I think Basilio is stopped. He stops all this from happening. Yeah, and he has stopped it. Dahil hindi na sapat ang report. Hindi na sapat ang edukasyon at mga pakil. Yo creo que el, el fue que tiró la lámpara por la ventana, ¿no? Yes. He throws the lamp through the window, if I remember correctly. And it explodes outside. And then the people from the Katipun and they... They went. see it as a signal and they start uh, fighting, ¿no? Yeah, but there was no Katipun in the book. Just the revolution. A revolution, yeah. No hay una familia, no hay una profesión. Hindi kaya pinagtataksilan mo ang sarili mong sining. This is when Maria Clara commits the unthinkable. Unthinkable na! Very exclusive, the lamb. <laughs> Simon is leaving. <laughs> of course, he doesn't want to die. Basilio is telling the people the plan. <laughs> and of course we arrested him because everybody saw that it was him who, who gave this lamp. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, they are not arresting him, they are killing him. Okay, okay. <laughs> I didn't know this. Nabigo si Simon. Nabigo ka rin. Sa bagay. Saan ka ba nagtagumpay? Sa Europa noon? Sa mga nobela mo ngayon? Hindi lahat ng ginawa ko ay nabigo. Noon yun. Nung bata ka pa. Kahit anong gawin mo, eksilente. Pero iba na ngayon. Sa Noli Metanghere, nabigo ka. Sa El Filibusterismo, nabigo ka rin. Katulad ng mga tauhan mo, sina Ibarra at Simon. Nawalang ka ng kasaysay. Bro, why are you here? Insulting me. Insulting me. Ang iyong amor propio. Alaman mo na sina mo ang nasulat mo sa pag-ikay ng mga ito. Ay wala nang isang nakakaalam. Well, they certainly are not forgotten <laughs> after all this time. Para mo na rin ako sinintensya ng kamatayan. Gabi na. Punta pa ako sa Malacanya. Kita na lang tayo bukas sa korte. Guardia! Hmm. This is where he's gonna he's write. Gonna write me ultimo ultimo adios. Adios. Or, or he's Josh first, then sentenciado a muerte, and then he writes his ultimo adios, and then he dies. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad.
navidades. Oh, why didn't kiss my hand? You don't say no. <laughs> it's the ring that they kiss, not the hand. I know, whatever. <laughs> whatever it is, Señor he's like, oh. <laughs> buenas noches, su eminencia. Muy buenas noches a todos. Aba, si aquí tenemos al gran defensor del enemigo número uno de España. <laughs> bueno, allá tú, a lo mejor a ti también te acusan de traicionar a España. Yo no soy un traidor. Yo solamente cumplo con mi deber. Defender a los inocentes. ¿Qué has dicho? Con su permiso, su eminencia. Buenas noches. Hmm. <laughs> Ay. Importante en extremo es la causa que está sometida al fallo del Consejo, ya que en sus páginas puede estudiarse el nacimiento y desarrollo de la insurrección que en la actualidad ensangrienta el suelo filipino. Hijos de este país, sobre el que España ha derramado inmensos tesoros de cultura, transformando en uno de los pueblos más prósperos del Oriente, olvidaron sus deberes de españoles, y han pretendido alzar bandera de rebelión contra la madre patria, aprovechando traidoramente los momentos en que sus hermanos se encuentran ocupados en sofocar en lejanas tierras otra guerra fratricida. Sin tener presente que a España le sobran alientos y energías probadas en distintas ocasiones, para no tolerar que el pabellón español deje jamás de flotar en aquellas regiones descubiertas y conquistadas por la intrepidez y arrojo de nuestros antepasados. Porque si no va, que la de negro, la mujer de Rizal. <laughs> the chismosas, oh my god, the marites. El doctor Don José Rizal Mercado, que debe cuanto es a España, ya que en las aulas de sus universidades cursó la carrera de medicina es una de las principales, sino la principal figura del actual movimiento. El doctor Rizal. Con la publicación de sus obras, Noli Metangere, Anotaciones a la Historia de Filipinas de Morga y el Filibusterismo, y con una serie interminable de folletos, proclamas e impresos de todo género contra la religión, los frailes y las autoridades españolas, viene inculcando en el pueblo filipino la idea ostensible de expulsar a todas las órdenes religiosas como medio, más o menos oculto, de obtener la independencia de este territorio. ¡Bajo la revolución! ¡Viva España! ¡Sí! Ok, amigo. Su lambonería. Ok, thank you, thank you, thank you. Calmalán. No menos, señores del Consejo. Que ver en Rizal, el alma de la rebelión. Él pretende ser el apóstol y el redentor del pueblo filipino. Sus paisanos le prestan pleito homenaje, considerándole casi como un ser superior, un ser incapaz de ser sometido a una investigación que pueda impedirle realizar su misión providencial. Don José Rizal. Es el promovedor del delito de rebelión consumado. Y se le debe aplicar la pena establecida en el Código Penal. 
debiendo por consiguiente castigarse el delito de rebelión con la pena de muerte. Hey, this is a difficult position to be with it because imagine you are a writer and then people take your ideas and, and do whatever they want with them and start a revolution and whatever but there's actually no proof that you are with these people that are like doing all this stuff and still they are accuse you to be a part of this and they kill you because of that you know Hace muchos años que el nombre de Vital tiene resonancias de gritos de rebelión y que su figura es símbolo del sentimiento revolucionario filipino. ¿Y esto por qué? ¿Es acaso que Vidal ha realizado algún acto de pública y solemne profesión de fe separatista? ¿Se ha arrancado alguna vez la carreta? Confesando en alta voz que ante la paz de nuestra sagrada Madre de España, que abomina de su dominación sobre estos territorios y que se propone combatirla hasta concluir con ella. No. Pero Vidal. Había escrito dos libros, el Noli Metango y el Filibusterismo, en los que no eran el prestigio del nombre español y el de las corporaciones religiosas, justamente consideradas como lazo de unión indestructible entre la madre patria y el archipiélago filipino, los que en más alto lugar quedaban. Y esto, unido a otros escritos suyos en que se censura el régimen colonial en estas islas imperio a sus gestiones por obtener I like how this actor, uh, derechos que constituyen otros tantos so. jalones para llegar a la autonomía y pasar de esta a la independencia y por último a la indiscutible elevación que sobre el nivel común de sus paisanos alcanzó. Tanto por aquellos alardes y atrevimientos, por ninguno de ellos antes intentado, cuanto por innegable y excepcional desarrollo de sus facultades intelectuales, vino a determinar en todos los buenos españoles lo mismo tanto para aquellos que conocían de ciencia propia sus obras, como para aquellos que solo tenían de ellos referentes, lógicos y justos sentimientos de repulsión hacia Vidal y de alarma por lo que tramar pudiera contra España. He aquí, pues, los prejuicios a que antes me he referido, que son punto menos que imposible de apartar de todo aquello que con Rizal se relaciona. Ahora bien, no está por ventura en el grado que el Ministerio Fiscal afirma. No. Sus ideas y doctrinas respecto al régimen por el que debiera ser gobernado el archipiélago filipino, los derechos, prerrogativas y libertades que a su juicio debieran concederse, podrán tal vez considerarse inconvenientes y pudiera muy bien tenderse a reprimir. Pero no por eso se puede llegar a la conclusión de que esas teorías fueran la causa determinante del levantamiento. Entre otras razones, porque Rizal asegura, y ninguna prueba hay en contra de este aserto, de desde 1892, cuando fue deportado a Dapitan por cuatro años, se ha abstenido de escribir 
ni de tratar con nadie acerca de asuntos que en más o en menos se relacionen con la política. De la entrevista que con don Pío Valenzuela mantuvo en junio del presente año, estando aún en el exilio, ningún cargo puede deducirse contra él, sino más bien una exculpación. Hindi medical na tulong ang kailangan ko, Dr. Rizal. Ang ito po ay pinadala ako rito ng Suprema. Suprema? Si kasamang Andres Bonifacio. Gusto niyang sumama kayo sa isang malakihang pag-aalsa na magaganap sa iba't ibang panig ng bansa. Kayo at ang inyong mga sinulat ang nagbigay lakas sa himagsikan, Dr. Rizal. <laughs> kayo ang nagsilbing gatong sa mga namamatay na sanang apoy ng aming mga pakikipagtunggal. Hindi ba tayo handa? Ano magagawa ng inyong mga bulok sa mga baril at mga kanyo ng Kastila? Kung dadanak din lamang ang dugo, tiyakin muna natin na may laban tayo. Kailan tayo magiging handa kung patay na tayo? Well... Magpapaumanin niya, Dr. Rizal. Pero kailangan namin kayo. Sumama na kayo. Mari namin kayo itakas dito. Nakapagbitiw ako ng salita na hindi ako tatakas. Dr. Rizal. Dr. Valenzuela, wala akong balak sumali sa revolusyon. De cuanto hoy ocurre, Rizal es en rigor irresponsable porque ni ha dado su asentimiento para ello, ni con él contaron los rebeldes para realizarlo. No hay, pues, términos hábiles de hacer las declaraciones ni de aplicar las penas que en la acusación fiscal les se piden. El fallo que procede y que pide debe ser en estricta justicia, absolutoria. Well, it's a good defense, you know what? The people, they have already made up their minds. Imágenes de compañeros queridos muertos o inutilizados por ruines traidores. De nobles matronas e inocentes doncellas y niñas y llanamente ultrajadas. De madres, de esposas, de hijas y hermanas que con los ojos del alma puestos en los brazos, que como valientes luchan y como valientes mueren por mantener inmaculada la honra de la gloriosa bandera de España. Piden a Dios de misericordia que los libre de los azares de la guerra y los vuelva sanos y salvos. Estas imágenes, en los momentos actuales, solo pueden engendrar ideas de venganza. Déjenlas en las mentes de los que marchan al combate. Les pido, señores de este tribunal, juzguemos al doctor José Rizal Mercado y al hombre no para vengarnos, sino para hacer justicia. He dicho. Caso cerrado. ¿Qué hace Caterina Velarde aquí? She looks she like Caterina like Velarde. siyang naparito ng samahan niya ang kanyang amang bular. Ngayon po ay malaki siyang tulong sa kilid niya. 
Alam naman ninyo kung gaano karami ang mga nagpapatingin sa akin araw-araw. Mabait siya at pilit pinag-aaralan ng lahat. Mula sa pagkasalita ng Tagalog hanggang sa pagsusunsi. Sana'y tanggapin ninyo po siya. Kayo na rin po nagsabi na ng higit sa kasal, ang mahalagay magsama ang dalawang tao sa grasya ng may kapal. No, no, I'm the one. So where was she from? Why she doesn't speak Tagalog? Let us know in the comments, guys. El acusado tiene algo que alegar en su defensa. Respecto a la rebelión, desde el 6 de julio de 1892, no me he ocupado en absoluto de política hasta el 1 de julio de este año. El mero hecho de ir al señor Valenzuela a avisar comprueba que yo no estaba en correspondencia. Pues, si lo hubiera estado, Ya lo debía haber sabido. Uh -huh. Porque es cosa bastante grave el hacer un levantamiento y ocultármelo. Otra prueba negativa es que no puede mostrar ninguna carta mía. Han abusado cruelmente de mi nombre y a última hora me han querido sorprender. ¿Por qué no se comunicaron conmigo antes? Oirían tal vez que estaba, sino contento, resignado con mi residencia, pues había rechazado varias proposiciones que me hicieron muchas personas para sacarme de aquel lugar. He sufrido con resignación mi deportación, no por el motivo que se dijo, que no es exacto, sino por lo que yo haya podido escribir. Y durante estos cuatro años de mi deportación, que se pregunte a los señores comandantes políticos militares del distrito acerca de mi conducta, al pueblo, aún a los mismos padres misioneros, a pesar de mis diferencias personales con uno de ellos, ¿quiénes fueron adaptadas a hablar conmigo? Personas enteramente desconocidas para mí. ¿Por qué no se comisionó a una persona conocida para que yo pudiera tener más confianza? Porque las que me conocían sabían que yo había dejado la política o que estando al tanto de mi manera de pensar respecto a las rebeliones, se habría negado a dar un paso inútil y poco heroso. Lo que deseo para mi país es la libertad. Pero la única forma de llegar a ella no es a través de una revolución, sino por medio de la educación. What's happening? No. Está pariendo. Open. Open. Relax. Open. Justin, please. So, se ha visto kids the kid died <laughs> thanks for the spoiler <laughs> what i it's not a spoiler i just read it <laughs> in science like i read it like he has no descendant because right. they all died out of like 
like illness or something. He's not crying, the baby. The baby was born there. The boy. Oh, so weird that they didn't present this because they've been presenting eyes and, and everything. <laughs> Yes, the boy was dead. Was born dead. Paala, madam. Hanggang sa muling pagkikita. There it is, his first son died and then he was killed before he could have more children. That's so sad. That's why there's no descendants of Rizal. And yet, his legacy lives on. A Don Jose Rizal Mercado y Alonso a la pena de muerte. Así lo pronuncia el Consejo de Guerra Ordinario de Plaza, firmándolo el presidente y vocales del mismo. He had a good defense, though. Yeah. Like, no, I was not associated with these people. These people were fanboys yeah. of his books. Yes. <laughs> In a sense, it's like if he was an influencer. Yeah, yeah. And like he's writing these characters, and people are taking it so seriously that they they are doing crazy stuff over there. You know? But also, we all know that this was actually everything is intentional, and he's trying to instigate a revolution. He just didn't agree with the way that people were doing it because he said like it's not time yet, like. The, we don't have the resources, like just wait. And then people were like, we're gonna go. It's a go, it's a go, it's a go. <laughs> Let's do this. Bueno, Bonifaz. The governor, I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> wow, so cold. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, it's a go with the pen death penalty. It's too late. Oh, wow. 
now they were trying to rescue them. Sandaring kami. Hindi kami natatakot sa kanila. Mga kasama! Hanggang kamatayan! Hanggang kamatayan! Hanggang kamatayan! Magsitigil kayo! Magsitigil kayo! Ako man, gusto kong makaligtas ang aking kapatid. Ngunit natitiyak ko na kailanman ay hindi papayag si Pepe na dumanak ang dugo ng dahil sa kanya. Nasa kamay na ng Diyos ang kanyang kaligtasan. Oh my God. Wala na tayong magagawa. Look at Bonifacio. It's like, wow, the, the, the impotence. Yeah. Yeah. Mahal kong kapatid. May apat na taot kalahati nang hindi tayo nagkikita o nakapag-uusap man lamang. At maaring kailanman ay hindi na magkita. Ngayong ako'y mamamatay na, dinaramdam ko na may iwan kang mag-isa upang pumasa ng buong bigat ng ating mga kaanak at ng ating matatandang magulang. Nagugunita ako ang kalakhan ng iyong hirap upang ako'y mabigyan ng isang karera. Hindi ko inaksaya ang panahon ko. At least they allowed her to see him before he died. Sana? Ah, but nice man up po. agad ang aking mga kahilingan. Eh, baka itapon na lamang nila ako kung saan. Ibaon niyo po ako sa lupa. Lagyan niyo ng isang bato. At isang krus. Lagyan niyo ang aking pangalan. Ang aking araw ng kapanganakan. A proper barbarian. Ilang po ba na? Wala na pong iba. Kung nanaisin niyo pong lagyan ng bakod ang paligid ng aking puntod, maaari niyo pong gawin. Ah, you are asking too much. Okay. Bro, you have a whole park. When they executed you, now it's a fucking whole park. Yes. With a big statue of you. Yes. With your name. With your birthday. With Filipina flags. <laughs> and there's also a statue of Rizal, like in almost all the countries in the world. Hilingin ko sa opisyal. Na ipadala sa inyo ito. Pagkamatay ko. There is something inside. <laughs> Speaking English so, so the Spaniards don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the trilingual king. Yes. Scared. 
Now he's gonna write his último adios. Or he wrote it and gave it inside of the thing. <laughs> He's thinking about Ibarra. <laughs> How Ibarra was killed. I mean, Simon was killed without having the chance to say goodbye. Yeah, that's what he put inside. His el último adiós. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> oh wow. They will kill the, the lawyer too. No, the lawyer said he's going to Spain. Ah, okay. Para hindi mo ko makalimutan. Salamat. Ibigay mo lang sa pamilya mo. Sobrang sobrang kamalaman ang tatalim ko para sa iyo. He says it's like he's mad. I don't know, I don't know. This actor, he confuses me, you know? <laughs> the character is 40 salary against him, we don't know. <laughs> Dios patria adorada. Yeah. Región del sol querida. Perla, Perla del mar de oriente. Nuestro, nuestro perdido, perdido Edén. Edén. Darte voy alegre. La triste mustia vida. Y fuera más brillante. Más fresca. Más florida. También por ti la diera. La diera por tu bien. En campos de batalla. Luchando con delirio. Otros te dan sus vidas, sin dudas, sin pesar. El sitio nada importa. Ciprés, laurel o lirio. Adalso, campo abierto. Combate o cruel martirio. Lo mismo es si lo piden la patria y el hogar. Yo muero cuando veo que el cielo se colora. Y al fin, anuncia el día, tras lóbrego camino. 
si grana necesitas para teñir tu aurora. Vierte la sangre mía, derrámala en buena hora y dórela a un reflejo de su naciente. El último adiós. Lámparas de Phil are there in the Luneta Park. Those lamps, you remember? I don't think it's the same lamps, just you know. Well, it's true. I don't think it's the same, but restored. Also, is Jose Rizal Park so close to the ocean? I mean, it's a movie. They are not going to shoot this like in Jose Rizal Park because it's not going to be like this. It's going to be modern. <coughs> so I don't know. I think it is. Yeah, I think Manila Bay, Bay is close. Grab a map. I need a map. <laughs> Grab a map. Favor. Mm. Al menos no me disparen a la cabeza. So they cannot shoot him in the front. Why? They might regret it and not shoot at all. Oh my god. Also, he said consumatum es like Jesus. Of course, they had to make sure this person is dead. Muerte a los traidores! Viva España! Viva España! Oh! Espa 
Caña siempre la lía, ¿eh? <risa> oh, so they make Filipino soldiers to shoot him. Yeah. How dare you? And supposedly, according to what I've read, it's only one of them yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. has the real bullets. Oh, the server. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it was my imagination. They kill one, but we kill a lot. I didn't know that they happened. Okay, so they went, they did a desmadre, and then they left. <laughs> yeah, because they killed all the Spanish soldiers. sig na ito na nalalaman ni Kapitan Emilio ay siya nag-uudyok sa lahat ng mga kapatid na nakikiusap sa lahat ng mga tao na sila ialis doon. Sila hindi dininig sapagkat ako'y nahabag sa kalagayan ng maraming tao. Gayong mga walang kasalanan ay nagtiis na madlang kahirapan at maaari pang sila'y mga matay. Tumailalim sa utos ng Konseho na Supremo ang mga tagapatangan at kinilala ang aming kapangyarihan. Sa loob ng tatlong araw, ay kanilang lulusubin ang walong bayan. Kinakailangan natin ang pagkakasundo sa kilusan sa mga nagbabalak na magpalagarap ng himagsikan sa lahat ng tako. <laughs> Ay, Rizal. Hoy, donde no hay esclavos, verdugos ni opresores, donde la fe no mata. Donde el que reina es Dios. Oh, the revolution climax on June 12, 1898. So two years after he was. Cuando Emilio Aguinaldo raised the Philippine flag for the first time and declared independence. A few years later, Jose Rizal was declared the national hero of the Republic of the Philippines. Wow, he survived a three hours movie. <laughs> I don't know how accurate this movie is. How how accurate is this movie, guys? Let us know in the comments. But like, if the events happen like this, like, it's, it's just, it's sad, you know, because mm. like, he actually had a good defense that he, his life could have been spared, yeah. but they were just, they made up their mind, like, they gave him that uh, juicio, the jury, the court, yeah, whatever, everybody, it yeah. was, it you was know, like, enemies. It, to, it, fill it was... up, to fill up a requisite, like, yeah. to fill up a, yeah. a, it was all enemies, but it was everybody. already decided before that. Yeah. What I'm thinking is, like, whether he supported or not the revolution, like at some point you could tell that he was already not supporting i don't know if this is controversial to say though well this is what it was allegedly just thinking. yeah because like he even wrote a letter and said i i am not like 
with these people to yeah. all to some of my pinoys yeah like, stop this revolution blah 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 yeah the manifesto was published in we the newspaper by the way we are talking solely about what we learned in this movie because we don't know if this mm. was real so in the end if we the don't letter know if did this to try to save his life or but if he really didn't like that they that like, the katipunan was using early. his name like he was like very outraged by the use of his name uh, without permission <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, there you go. I wonder also if the letters that they show, that they showed in the movie, are like the original letters of Jose Rizal. They are in the museum, and in the yes, but like they could have lent them this to for the movie, no? <laughs> Just sure. <saying. laughs> Just wondering if you know any information, let us know in the comments. Thank you so much, guys, for. Watching this watching video. Watching this with us. <laughs> and now watch this other video that appears right here, recommended by YouTube's algorithm, especially, especially for you. you. So click on it right, right now. now.